Hello, uh, my name is Ben, and I am making a Oregon Trail-inspired uh, god game similar to Dwarf Fortress or uh, Space Base DF9, uh, which is coming out kind of soon. It's on early release. Uh, they don't have many features, although to be honest, they have more than I do. Um, so I've posted a video previously, and I don't know, it was a long time ago, and probably no one looked at it. Uh, I'm making this video primarily for people on the Bay 12 Games forums, where I've been posting about my progress. Uh, and it's kind of gotten to a point where I feel like screen shares, or screenshots, sorry, uh, aren't really showing everything we need. So I'm going to make a video and show the latest feature, which is actually building things, which is something we'd like to be able to do. So let me uh, start right at it. So here are my little colonists. There's a brand new build menu option. Um, I'm going to scroll around a little bit. So Explore doesn't currently work. We would like this to be able to uh, you know, set down explore points and, and tell your guys where to explore. Right now they just move randomly. Uh, and actually they move a little too randomly. They can end up really, really far away from, from home, which is a bad idea. But anyway, let's let's build something. So uh, everything isn't super pretty. But anyway, here's the, uh, the three things that actually we can't build all of them. Currently only warehouse is implemented. It's pretty trivial to just assign a graphic to a building as long as you don't care about the building doing anything. Uh, but, hey, I've done better. This warehouse actually is functional, so let's build it and demonstrate all that. So I select warehouse. You can see it doesn't highlight when you're hovered over. Uh, and now we get this little warehouse uh, preview of, of kind of where we want to put it. It doesn't stop you right now from overlapping buildings. That's obviously something I'm going to need to do, uh, but whatever. So let's, I don't know here, let's put between these two trees. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but it was a yellow arrow, and it turned green. Yellow means that no one has been assigned to the job. Green means that someone has been assigned. And that part right now is currently a little buggy. We will have an assigned worker, must be this guy, who has been assigned to take the job, but he can't find any wood or resources to actually do the job. So what should happen is the job should be put as canceled. Um, for, for not having enough resources, and this arrow would turn red. Obviously, that's not happening right now. Uh, that's kind of bad. The good thing is that he's just like, right now, well, it's good and bad. Every every step of animation, he's like, is there any wood nearby? Is there any wood nearby? Is there any wood nearby? Which is kind of expensive uh, of a CPU, you know, in terms of CPU time. Uh, but it's okay, he's the only one doing it. Uh, but let's give him some wood. The good side is that once there is some wood, he's going to find it and start building. So I'm going to put some... Oh, we need to stop looking at you. Uh, some some collection orders on these trees, and lumberjacks will will come and uh, fulfill these orders. And this works similar to Dwarf Fortress, where there's no way to set it right now. But I will add a, a UI kind of like Dwarf Therapist, uh, and uh, which you can see in Space Base DF9, they've done a similar thing, where you can see the skills that each of your colonists has, and then also is this a skill that you're allowed to even use? So there would be construct. There is a construction skill, uh, and are you allowed to construct? So here, this little guy's going crazy. He's clearly found the wood uh, and is building it. And I just want to. I always think this looks funny, <laughs> carrying around the. Okay, oh, it's vanished. <laughs> anyway, um, so he's building this thing. It currently requires probably more wood than we would like. I think ten. So after he's done ten whole logs, there you go. The building is complete. And I hadn't shown this off before, but let's go ahead and do it. Let's tell our colonists to collect the wood and store it in a building. They will, they should store it in the closest building. Actually, I have not tested that yet, so we'll see what happens. Um, so let's see if we can find something else where maybe this is the closer building. So right now they're dropping it all off in the uh, covered wagon, which is a storage building. I, I basically start the player with a storage building. Uh, but I'm going to see if, if this actually works properly, where we can have them stored in this little building. I, I promised you that they're functional, so let's let's try it out and see how functional it is. Is he going to go for the closest? Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Actually, that makes me really happy. I'm smiling right now. You can't see it. <laughs> um, so that's great. So you can't see currently what's inside of a warehouse. It, I need a little pop-up kind of like this. You know, I found Fre Frederick again. Um, where it kind of tells you the stats about what you're looking at. We need something similar for the warehouse and the covered wagon, and maybe ox, uh, to tell you what's inside these buildings. Clearly, I haven't implemented that yet. Um, well, I think that's about all I have to show. I mean, there's a lot of, if this is your first time looking at this video, if you found it on YouTube, please don't 
<laughs> complain about these deposit photos pictures. I just found some textures real quick online. Uh, same with this. I mean, this texture, I, I think I'm good to use uh, in terms of copyright and, and everything. Um, but uh, it, it doesn't look that great. Uh, so anyway, th these these are all temporary. Uh, you know, clearly I'll, I'll happily pay for graphics to make this game look awesome uh, when the time comes. But but now is not the time. For now, you know, they're not even. You can't build things. Uh, they will eat. There's a berry bush here, but anyway, I'm sorry. I'm all done with this video. Uh, but hopefully, I will have more to show in the near future, and, and maybe I'll post another video, or or maybe I'll just keep posting pictures on the Bay 12 Games forums. I don't I don't really know. Whatever seems appropriate, I guess. Uh, thanks for watching.